Hi, this is Steve Spence with ArduinoTronics.blogspot.com. Today I've made a vibration sensor. Uh, could also be called a seismic sensor or an earthquake sensor. And I've got an I2C LCD here connected to an Arduino from SaneSmart, which is connected to a SparkFun vibration sensor little device that when it senses vibration it outputs a voltage and we are reading that voltage on an analog port and then we're doing some decision making depending on how strong that signal is and displaying a bar graph showing the strength of the vibration and if it's really strong we'll do something a little bit special here but we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to bang on the table here right next to the sensor and you'll see it goes up. Oh look at that! We've had an earthquake. Basically if the vibration is enough I've got it set to a trip point and says if it's over 8 display the fact that there's been an earthquake and it does take a little bit of time for that vibration sensor to settle back down again um, but I thought this would be a cool little project to show you how you can sense vibration you can attach one of these things to a motor uh, if a motor gets off balance it can be used as an off balance indicator um, you can adjust the sensitivity on it so that it can pick up just very slight movements I have mine set pretty high so it takes quite a bit of jarring to get it to move or to get it to indicate, I'm just ignoring values below a certain threshold. And of course I'll post the code and the wiring schematics on arduinotronics.blogspot.com There will be a link to the exact tutorial at, in the description of this movie clip. But I hope you've enjoyed this little project. It's, it's cute, it's fun and um, it's just another way to be able to sense the environment around you and what's happening with the earth. If you leave, live near ra uh, railroad tracks you could definitely pick up the uh, vibration of the train going through. My the nearest train here is about a mile away and this is not sensitive enough to pick that up um, unless I put the vibration sensor on the ground outdoors. But this is an easy one to uh, reproduce. It's an inexpensive one. The sensor is only about $3 from SparkFun. The Arduino is less than $20. The LCD is about $12. And um, like I said, all the code and schematics will be posted on arduinotronics.blogspot.com. So enjoy. Thank you. This is Steve Spence with arduinotronics.blogspot.com.